What was it like bringing a brand new team to the F1 grid? You know, the first time you see a car, your car, with your branding, your name on it, in an official race, alongside Ferrari, McLaren, Mercedes, that's what it's all about. You make it sound like a dream come true. If only. When did you first get a sense of what was in store for Connor Sport? 2022 season, <clears throat> straight out of the box. The drivers were always going to clash. That was a calculated risk. But the car, mm, the car, the car had problems. We're midway through the Miami Grand Prix. It's been a cracking race so far, and it's all up for grabs. Absolutely, Crofty. Some fantastic driving here today, especially, I have to say, from Aidan Jackson. I don't think I've ever seen the Connor Sport car being put through its paces quite like this. This is a team, Connor Sport, that have got a lot to prove this season, but Jackson might just be the man to do it. Okay, Aidan, nice job so far. Let's try and bring that gap down to the car ahead if you can. Copy that. Heads coming to fit the mediums. Car ahead now running medium tyres. Okay, gap ahead is 3.4 seconds.
Okay, so we're leading our teammate by 16.0 seconds. Okay, push, push, gap to the car behind, 2.7 seconds. Lucky to have gotten away with it. Okay, that's us with five laps of fuel remaining. Five laps of fuel left. Our gap to the car in front is 3.3 seconds. to go and he's out of the Miami Grand Prix. Oh, with every race, the car looks like a constant problem for Connor Sport. It must be devastating for the drivers. Confirmation as the car comes to a halt, the Connor Sports Aiden Jackson won't be seeing the checkered flag today. But it looks like his teammate will. Jackson's DNF puts Devin Butler in a position where he might just be able to secure some points for Connor Sport. Aiden's out. Yep, engine problem, I'm afraid. <laughs> Good job you got me! Alright Devon, don't push it too hard. We cannot risk losing both cars here. It's in the bag, mate! All okay, Aiden? <sighs> yeah, uh, how's Devon doing? Yeah, he's doing alright, mate. He looks like he's gonna bring home some points for the team. Good for him.
If it's not one thing, then it's another. Did you not see what happened out there today? Aiden, I agree with you 100%. We are doing everything we can. I know the car is not perfect, but... Andreo, it's every race. Do you know how I look losing easy points like this? No, no. <laughs> Sounds like there's a right show going on in here. What am I missing? Not now, Devon. Aiden and I were just discussing issues with the car. Again? I thought that was all in hand. I, I had no problems today. Smooth. You know what they say, a shoddy workman always blames his tools. <laughs> mate, 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 mate. You can look at my setup data any time you want. I've told you that. It might help. And I've told you before. It's not a setup issue. The problem is... Jackson, that was the problem with the 2022 season. Ask anyone. I mean, at the end of 21, everyone thought Aiden was going to be signed by one of the big three. But, uh... I guess they couldn't reach an agreement, so we both signed for Connor Sport. And do you think that affected Aiden? <laughs> That's no secret. Now, for that 22 season, Jackson was a nightmare. 